Alrighty guys, what's going on? Day Daddy here tonight, and I just wanted to um, put out a video on this bug slash error that I've been having for, you know, ah uh, man, months now with Neo4j, and I haven't been able to resolve it, haven't been able to find the uh, answer anywhere, but finally, uh, tonight, I figured it out, and I wanted to share it with you guys, uh, so hopefully it, you know, helps somebody and saves them. Uh, the time that it did not save me. Uh, so anyway, uh, tonight I'm going to go over the, the my particular error, and then I'm going to also go over another really common error for uh, for this type of thing uh, with, with Neo4j. So just want to outline the situation here so that you understand what I'm trying to do. Um, so I have Neo4j on a remote server. So it's in a Docker container. Um, all the ports are afforded to the bare metal machines ports uh, and then I am trying to port forward or have been trying to port forward 7474 to my local machine so that I can access the Neo4j browser uh, locally so that you know I can run in, I can run the Neo4j on the uh, remote server but I can locally access Neo4j browser so I can you know when I want to run queries or see the result of a query um, you know, I can see it locally. I don't have to, you know, remote into the machine with a GUI to access it or, you know, some, some other thing. So anyway, um, that's been the goal to, to try to take this port forwarding approach. And I've, it's very intermittently successful and I can never figure out why. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, the fix now is to forward both 7474 and 7687 instead of just one. So I was only forwarding one. I thought that was all that you needed, but apparently it's not. So to make this more concrete, so I'm just gonna show you that this is not working currently. And also I'm already forwarding. I'm already, the reason we're able to see this browser is I'm forwarding uh, 7474 remote 7474 on the server to local 7474 on, on my machine. And as you can see, it's not, uh, you know, it's giving us the same web socket connection failure. It's been the bane of my existence. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is to fix this, I'm going to add another, well, I'm just going to show you both commands just for the sake of it. Um, so let me find them. So, and now since I don't have anything, we can't even access the browser. So there you go. So can't access the browser. So we'll port forward 7474. And I'll just show you this in stages so that it makes more sense. So as soon as this, um, activates we should now be able to access the browser okay cool so now we can access that but we're gonna get the same error that we saw just a second ago all right yeah see we still got this web socket connection failure uh, and then just just to for shits and giggles, we'll try 7474. Again, same uh, WebSocket connection failure issue. All right, so now how do we solve this? So let's add another terminal and let's port forward seven, uh, 7687. So doing the same thing, just with the, the Bolt port and the HTTP port. So, okay, now, Let's try this again. And there we go. Beautiful. Everything's working now just as expected. I can, you know, query all the nodes on my graph and everything looks fantastic. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that. Uh, another thing that is important to check, this is the the second issue that you may be having is um, if we go in here 
sorry, let me, I don't even know where I am. Let me see out. Okay, so CD into opt, CD into the Neo4j5 community. All right, and we're gonna CD into conf. And then we're going to nano Neo4j conf. Take a look at it. All right, so now we're looking at the, the main configuration file. And um, the important thing here is uh, this. This line needs to be uncommented here. So it says, with default con configuration, Neo4j only accepts local connections. So if you want to accept non-local connections, aka remote connections, then you need to uncomment this. And you can make it specific to a particular IP address, a range of IP addresses if you wish, but for me, I don't really care. I just, I'll just i let anybody connect to it because this is really just for, for testing uh, for me at the moment. So you know I want to make this as easy as possible. So anyway, just make sure that this is uncommented because this could be another issue that is causing you from, or keeping you from being able to connect. Um, and just one more last tip here. Uh, one thing that's really helpful for testing is if you disable authentication. So you don't have to worry about passwords, you don't have to worry about any of any uh, that stuff during login. It's just, you can select, select no connection, or sorry, no authentication, and it will let you log right in. So this to me is super, super useful for, uh, you know, testing and, you know, and just easily working with database before you, you before you go into production. So just, um, you know, wanted to add those two tips as well. And anyway, guys, I really hope that this helps somebody out there because uh, I really wish that I would have known this about, um, you know, th three or four months ago. So anyway, guys, hope this helps somebody. Uh, have a great rest of your night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, guys, brief reminder here. If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe so I can continue to grow and produce better and better content for you. If you really enjoyed the content, you might even consider buying me a coffee, and the link for how to do that will be in the video description below. Um, if nothing else, please just give me some feedback in the comments and let me know how I'm doing, uh, if anything's unclear, or if there are anything uh, that I can improve on. Thank you again, guys, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.